to be part of these networks of care means to fight for a very important and serious cause all together, but at the same time to spend time, to share, to enjoy. There is something very empowering in that gathering that it's happening in a very informal way. My name is Mercedes Aspilicueta. I'm a visual and performance artist from Argentina, living and working in Amsterdam. And today we're here in my studio. The topics I usually deal with in my work are connected to uh, storytelling, um, revisiting history or embodying history, mobilizing history in a different way. Um, decolonial feminism, but also dissident voices or sounds. The work for the Prix de Rome is inspired in the potato riots uh, from 1917 uh, here in Amsterdam in the neighborhood of Jordan, initiated by a group of women that were mainly working at home and they were faced with a shortage of food and then they decided to take the streets and uh, loot certain ships. They were full of potatoes, but they were actually meant for the military. I thought it was a very interesting story, also because I live in Amsterdam, but I haven't heard uh, until recently, and I thought this was a good way to, for me to reconnect uh, as a person living here to the genealogy of this city and, and and its society as well. Also to see how different the Jordan is nowadays after a hundred years ago. Another reason why I decided to work with the potato riots is because I see a connection between my own involvement in the protests that uh, originated in Buenos Aires, Argentina back in 2015 as part of the movement of uh, Niuna Menos, a feminist movement that also grew to the rest of Latin America. And that has been, uh, from the very beginning, a very empowering experience for myself to be there, to take the streets, uh, to share uh, time and, and, and to be part of these networks of care. The installation that will be at the Stedelijk, it's almost like a spatial dramaturgy. The spine of this installation, it's a jacquard tapestry that invites the viewer to uh, go around it and also see front and back of it, back of the tapestry in a sense that also brings a metaphor for looking into the back of history or what it is unseen or usually not supposed to be uh, disclosed. And around that there is a group of objects that uh, are inspired in, in some of these images. For example, you'll see references to aprons that the potato riots women were using and how they kind of kept their potatoes inside their, their garments but also contemporary bags and, and funny packs, all type of streetwear that allows you to work and to take the streets and to be functional. They are made with very precarious materials, so that it's, a, in a sense, a counterpoint to the Jacquard tapestry uh, as a very high-end type of, of work. What I like about the Jacquard tapestry is that it allows me to weave different stories, whether historical, fictional, real, personal, and to bring them all together, usually in the form of a collage. Uh, I like to use the weaving process almost as if I would be painting. So it's a process, it's a research into colors, depths, densities, uh, and that, that also goes hand in hand with the, the stories themselves. The installation is the result of many collaborations. For example, Judith Peskens from the Texel Lab or Lucia Zuzette, uh, with whom we have designed the different costumes that are around the Jacquard tapestry. The making in itself, through all these collaborations, resonates with the idea of uh, creating networks of, of solidarity, different type of relationships, uh, that are not only professional, but also effective. What I would like the work to evoke is the idea that the past can manifest in our present uh, and use that for our present or our coming futures.